So Steve G. Jones here, uh, Dr. Steve G. Jones, Susan Walsh, and interviewing him, and I came up with some ideas about what he really has taught me in the last few days, and number one was, first of all, is to hang out with other people that have the same ideas and similar business concepts and goals as I do. Number two is to explore and build upon your business on a daily basis and have a schedule every day, even if it's after work, there's no excuses. And number three is um, to concentrate and motivate, and this is really a self-motivation therapy for business people who want to achieve their goals and no more excuses. And Steve's really an expert at doing that. Well, thanks, Susan. And I'd like to uh, delve into those for those listening. What was the uh, what was the first one again? Hanging out with friends and coworkers and business people that have the same ideology as you do to expand your business. Okay, excellent point. The uh, the idea there is that whoever you surround yourself with, you're going to be like. I mean, your income. When I say you, I mean anyone. Your income is uh, is an average of your top 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 five friends' incomes. If you take their incomes and divide by five, that's your income. And isn't that weird? I mean, isn't that uh, odd that we would that it would work that way? Well, it's because, you know, birds of a feather flock together. And even if you're not like them when you start hanging out with them, you will be like them. You know, kids who start hanging out with the bad kids, so to speak, you know, start using drugs, that's just the way it goes. Uh, people who hang around wealthy people uh, become wealthy because they learn the, the tips and tricks and strategies and, and uh, the important things that go into building wealth. So, and what was the second one that you mentioned that you learned? I believe the second one was um, to every day work on your business concept and have a schedule, which you do. You live it every day. Yeah, exactly. So life isn't just happening randomly for me or for anyone else who's successful. You know, there's a to-do list. There's a schedule. There are things uh, booked out. And, uh, you know, I remember going back to the 80s when I was a preacher. I was uh, a preacher for the Church of Christ, actually. And I, I met an older preacher, and he was booked out. Uh, for the, for the next year for where he was he was a traveling preacher where he was going to go where he's going to speak you know me back then I didn't have much of a schedule I was just going to go uh, preach every Sunday and uh, so at the same time I was working my business so I, I was not supporting myself full-time from preaching but that really stuck with me the lesson I learned in the 80s that you know someone who's who's in it full-time who's really great at it and has been doing it a while they have a schedule. It's not a mystery to them what they're doing next month or next year. It's known. And if it's not known yet, it'll be known soon because they have things they want to work on. So we always have things that we're working on and things we want to work on, bigger projects with uh, people who have a bigger reach, things like that. So when I get up, I'm just following a to-do list, basically. Now, that doesn't mean my life is boring because, on the contrary, it's very interesting because a lot of what I do, I can get done anywhere, uh, like this uh, interview that we're doing right now in a wonderful place. You know, it's not something that has to be a drudgery. A lot of the things I do now are online, so I can travel the world and do them at the same time. And what was the fa final thing you mentioned, Susan? Well, there's no reason, there's no excuses, and the main thing is that what I've learned is that the concept has to be uh, detailed, and that's what, so your learning, abil uh, my learning ability comes from going to the proper teacher to teach me. So there's really no excuses not to be successful. You just got to know where to go to. Yeah, exactly. And you've got to keep pushing on. You've got to remain motivated. You've got to keep moving forward. So motivation becomes a, uh, a big part of it. You know, it's nice to not have any excuses, but a lot of people really don't care. Even if they have no excuses, they still won't do it. And because uh, they don't need uh, any reason not to do it, they just sometimes don't want to do it. But you've got to let go of all that. You've got to find the motivation to get things done. And if, if you're not, then you've got to realize that maybe it's not for you, whatever it is. Maybe it's something that you don't want to do. So whenever I find myself not taking action, I realize the reason I'm not taking action is because I probably don't want to do whatever it is. 
Now, a lot of times I just go ahead and push through it because I know it's for the greater good. That's one little trick I use in my mind. If, you know, I wake up and there's a thing on my to-do list, I have to print something, sign it, or have some meeting, and I think, oh, goodness, are you kidding me? You know, I push through it because I realize it's for the greater good. It's to get something done. Uh, there was something that I had to go through recently uh, to be on a TV show, and it was, you know, a few hoops producers make you jump through, and I thought, you know, what a bunch of nonsense. I, <laughs> I didn't really want to do it, uh, but I did because it's for the greater good. It's for getting the information out there about hypnosis. Thank you so much for sharing more detailed information. Steve G. Jones, Dr. Steve G. Jones, sitting here with Susan Walsh, and both of us are clinical hypnotherapists. Thank you, Susan. And you know, for anyone listening to this, for more information about hypnosis and a free hypnosis recording, you can just go to my website now, which is stevegjones.com. I've got a free recording for you. Just put in your name and email address, and I'll send it right over to you. It'll be electronically, automatically sent to you for building your wealth, program you for wealth building at stevegjones.com. On behalf of myself and Susan Walsh, we hope you have an outstanding day.